Hello. Today I'd like to welcome you to a special edition of the Haiku P podcast, Series 3, Episode 18. It's special because it's written primarily by you, the community of poets, who've become such an important part, not just of the podcast, but my day-to-day life too. Thank you to you all. I know most of you will know who I am, but for those of you joining us for the first time today, my name is Patricia, and I bring you this podcast from a sunny, yet very fresh Zurich, the little big city in Switzerland. I don't know how things are in your part of the world, but it's getting quite autumnal here. My poor son came over from London with his American partner last week for a quick break, and they have had some atrocious weather, until yesterday. Do you know, I think she was beginning to think we had no mountains as they were perpetually covered in mist, and that the sun never shone in Zurich. But today, thankfully, they can go off and have a swim in the lake, So all is well with the world. Before I go on, I'd like to give you some thank yous. First, for the coffees that you donate through the orange button on the Poetry P website. I'm really so grateful to you for sending me coffee donations. It's like a little ray of sunshine when I get a message that a coffee's waiting. And it means this month I could take my husband out and thank him for all the work he does for me on this site and for the journal. Because as you know, with my neck problems, it's not always possible for me to use my computer. So thank you very much for all the coffees. Another thank you to Josh Cleveland and his family for inviting me to take part in their haiku podcast. It was a treat for me, and although I took part in a written form, you can hear a little bit about me and why I started the Haiku P podcast if you listen to it, and I'll put the link on the show notes. One last thank you to all of you who bought the Summer Journal, whether in paperback or Kindle format. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, it's still available on Amazon. The next one, the Autumn Journal, should be out by the end of October, but I'll keep you posted. I hope you enjoyed the reading by Ben Gar on the last podcast. He'll be back in the future to answer your questions and to give a couple more workshops. And if you'd like to do a reading for us, just email me and I'll get back to you. And also let me know if there's someone you'd really like to hear from on the podcast, and why, and I'll try and get hold of them. We'll be starting another Renku soon. Please let me know if you'd like to take part. Don't forget to send me your 20-second videos and haiku. Landscape mode, please, for the videos. Because PTV Moments is still going strong on YouTube. Don't miss out on your chance to be a star. And if you have a minute, please subscribe to the Poetry Bee channel. It would be most appreciated. One last thing before I go on. Look out for the topics for next year. I'm going to do something a little bit different and change the deadline dates. If you're on the mailing list, you'll get a mail with all the details. If not, please sign up. The form is on the website. But for this year, the next topic is found poetry. And of course, you have until the 1st of October to email me your submissions. I'm collecting them and will be replying to your emails after the 24th of September. So don't worry if it takes me a little longer than usual. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. And if you really haven't got a clue what found poetry is all about, have a look on the website. I've put a little something of an explanation on there. Now, let's get on with the reading. I'm going to do what I did last time, break the verses into groups and separate them with a bell. But hopefully, the bell will be more successful. Please let me know. Remember, I read the verse and then I tell you who wrote it. But of course, you can read all the verses on the website. And there'll be bonus verses in the journal. Some verses are, at least to me, overwhelmingly sad. Nonetheless, I hope you can savour all the emotions within today's podcast. And I'd love to know what you think about it. Send me your thoughts via email. I will, of course, start the podcast with previously published work. So let's get going.
You are my heroine. Even though you're full of it, please return to me. Richard Bailey, from Poetry Soup, 2019, which he wrote about someone potentially lost to heroin. Circles of lichen, I thought we would have more time. Debbie Strange. And this piece received third place in the 2018 Kaji Asso Studio Haiku Contest. Dad's Ashtray. The Conversations We Never Had. By Ileana Stoyanova. From Root. The British Haiku Society Members Anthology, 2019. Now showing at the old drive-in, Weeds. Catherine Bold, from Modern Haiku, issue 50.1. Widowhood. Day blurs into evening, into night. Mary Kendall, from Frog Pond, 43.1. And now, over to you, our poetry community. In this section, we have a number of poets new to the podcast, as well as some familiar names. New to the podcast... Janice Doppler, Samo Kreutz, Jackie Chow, Bona M. Santos, Rose, and Maya Daneva. But we'll start with a poet we've not heard from in a wee while. Between funerals, I pause to repair my lipstick. Joan Barrett. Wind. In the wildlife park, ashes. Christina Chin. Paul bearing the weight of what's already gone. Lorraine A. Padden. Gravesight. We help each other cross the ice. Janice Doppler. Daybreak. At the graveside, quarrelling with his wife. Samo Kreutz. Breaking waves. I keep writing the name they erase. Vandana Parashar. Prolonged ringing. I brace to hear your voicemail. Kelly Lage Elements devour the names set in stone. Hannah Hulbert Haiku Habit, counting syllables in his goodbye note. Jackie Chow Memorial Service a bird soars high in the gathering dusk. Bona M. Santos The blue jay and sparrow share a tiny tombstone. Storm damage. Barbara Carlson Do not ask why, just say goodbye. Release with love. Richard Bailey. Numb, she washes the sheets. Shattered motherhood. Tracy Davidson. Plum falls on the ground. Miscarriage. Rose. Miscarriage. 
still searching for her child inside herself. Maya Daneva Now, as some of you might know, I sometimes have extended chats with you about your submissions. This next submission from Wayne Kingston was just such an example. Onion peeled, endless illumination, haiku weeps. Wayne Kingston I mulled this one over for a long time, and I thought lines one and three made quite a good link with one another, and the middle line, line two, was like a just juxtaposition. And I put this to Wayne, but he told me his intention was to use line two with line one. As life unfolds and is truly lit, we can provide poetic commentary revealing a depth of emotion, he told me. Many times this finding may not be what we would like, and tears of remembrance, happy or sad, well up. I could absolutely see what he was saying, but as I said to Wayne, I still quite like my version of it too. Empty Nest Something of Me in the Waning Moon Arvinda Kaur, who's new to us on the podcast. Battered Nest, All My Siblings in the Wind, Jonathan Roman. In the next section, we have three poets new to the podcast. Brian Myers, Bill Fay and Jennifer Hambrick. But we'll start with one of the poets who's been with us longest. Giddy Nielsen Sweep. Alzheimer's. Unexpectedly, she plays childhood piano tune. Giddy Nielsen Sweep. Will we remember jumping to the endless sounds of youth going wild? Brian Myers Seven years on, the echoes of my screams die too. Richard Hargreaves Homesick, scent of sunlight in mother's hair. Veronica Zora Novak Hot steamy night, she lies cold in his absence. Linda L. Ludwig On the terrace facing the sun, an empty chair. Professor R. K. Singh Her red bra, long after she left it. R.P. Verlaine Piano practice, what my fingers no longer remember. Angela Terry Slanted sunlight, swing shadows sway on the fence. Elaine Wilbert Sandy Shoreline. Forgotten buckets bring back memories. Bill Fay. Childhood home. Putting my memories on the market. Jennifer Hambrick. Estate sale. Closing down a life. Valentina Rinaldi Adams Even as we talk of childhood friends Winter rain Richard Tice 
Submarine. Trying to remember Grandma's voice. Tomislav Seglochia. And Tomislav's poem inspired me to write this. Summer rain. No voice, but a face. Just two poets we've not heard from before in this section. Dawn Toomey and Bob Carlton. Man's best friend, the water dish, still full. Laura Driscoll. Instead of a headstone, your dog bowl. Jane Berg. Fireflies. One by one, go dark. Bob Carlton. Late summer, the evening shortens to a blackbird's call. Marilyn Ward. Lying by the path, a bird's dry, dusty body. The silent dawn. Patrick Stevens. The cry of the gull high above empty sand dunes, low autumnal tides. Sarah Bint Yusuf. Ibis circling in the thick morning fog, white on white. Dawn to me. Silent spring, I can still see. The Birds Robert Horobin I admire the lovely fish tank eating sushi. S. Narayanan By the road, armadillo shell, all his plans. David Oates Pillow talk. My son asks for a pound from the tooth fairy. Dorothy Burrows. Incomplete smile. The tooth fairy drops her shiny coin. Cyril Solomon. Four more poets have joined the community in this section. Neera Singh, Peter Adair, Eve Castle and Alex Fife. We'll start with Neera. Old age home, the leaves fall with no noise. Neera Singh. Ah, this complex life, inevitable losses, necessary gains. Andrew Sire. A sand Buddha. Only the head is left by the waves. Bhaktiya Amini. Sometimes her voice on a breeze. A feather. Kim Russell. A bruise upon a bruise. Sayonara. James Young Bomb blasts, doll survives, lifeless hands Anjali Wahadpandi He dumps his hiking boots, summits he'll never climb Peter Adair Peter, I'm not ready to put my hiking boots to one side, but I think I've done it with my skis. Definitely not using them again.
broken nib, the I's and the J's lose their heads. Srinivas S. Night train. The window reflects the rain inside. Zara Z. Mugis. Crescent moon. My empty arms. A broken plate. Eve Castle. Dressed in rags, deft little fingers, stitch garments. Lekka Desai Morrison. Becoming another adult. Another adult. Alex Fife. Revised resume. Letting go of old dreams. Kathleen Tice. This one is close to my heart as someone who was a recruiter and now helps people realise their career goals. Sometimes it is possible to have new dreams. Dreams with potential you couldn't even have imagined. Camouflaged, nestling in shingle, my missing keys. Jenny Wynne Hyatt Lost Keys I Retrace My Steps Pearl Unplugging from the world is not the world's loss. It's yours. Ian Speed When the postman retires... Who will speak to me? Roberta Beach Jacobson Child Bride The Crushed Petals of a Plucked Flower Rashmi Visa A week after the mastectomy Bra commercials Deborah P. Kaloji. Couch on the curb. Someone takes the free sign. Dan Burt. I have to tell you a little bit of a story here. Once I put out an old mattress tied up with string for the rubbish collection. And I went out later, just for a walk, and passed by the mattress. <laughs> And somebody had taken the string, or the rope, I should say, and replaced it with string. People are strange, aren't they? Anyway, Dan, thank you for reminding me and making me smile. Isolation. The rainy day is silent. Rajeswari Srinivasan Fog and the sound of lost birds. Mike Railing Human touch. A hug or a handshake, please. R.J. Tungsten Daybreak. The world wallows in disaster. Willie R. Bonkeron. From her car, a masked friend waves falling cherry blossoms. Doris Lynch. Reaching for a face mask, the feel of summer alters. Craig Kittner. Frontline casualties. Nurses replace soldiers. Ronald K. Craig, who's our only poet new to the community in this section. The magpie surveys empty city sidewalks, faces behind glass. Trey Trefoe. 
Missing the friendly obscenities of the workplace. Mike Gallagher. At night we lie there staring at the ceiling fan. Regrets float on air. Bruce Lomas the only new poet in the podcast in this section. Much to confess, pale dawn, Richard Sharma. Dead wind, she opposes reconciliation, Paul Callas. Open door, the streetlight casts a glow on an ending. Sarah Mahina Calvelo. In this last section, I have two poets to introduce to you Anna Maria Domberg, San Cristoforo, and J.P. Meredith. This morning, I choose solitude, Amaryllis, Dr. Tim Gardner. Cloud shadow passes over the sundial in real time, Maggie Roycraft. Long dry summer, the willow branch doesn't reach the river, Robin Rich. Fresh snow, only the top of Buddha's head. Kristen Lindquist A green leaf cast in the shade, no voice. Reham El Ashray Falling leaves, the weight of each life. M. Shane Pruitt. Banks deposit dirt into the swollen river, withdrawing ground. Beth Cusack. One colour covering the garden, winter. Demir, Demir. Dry lake bed. The rainy season's unresisted path. Erin Castaldi. In my hair, the wind of waves. Summer dream. Daniela Miso. A swing, the old branch creaks back and forth. Anna Maria Domburg. San Cristoforo. Moonflowers, cool wind of twilight. Dawn approaches. B.A. France. Dutiful routine, new flowers for old. Rob McKinnon. A tree's last breath. Paper Stars Isabel Caves The sun surrenders to an awaiting sea Night and you are gone Robert Quisada Deadheading Roses Accidental Bee Running One Less Bee Linda L. Krushka Heavy rain Weeping willow Weeping J.P. Meredith Orchid How calmly you leave this earth Tiffany Shaw Diaz 
winter jasmine, we inhale the scent of dying stars. Debbie Strange And I'm finishing today with a verse from Wendy C. Bialik, not just because she was the last person to submit, sneaked in just under the wire, Wendy, but also because it's a sort of anti-loss poem. I'll leave you to think about it. Soaking up the now, nothing goes down the drain. Wendy C. Bialik So once again, my thanks to everyone, whether you submitted some work for today or just came along to listen. And please don't forget, I put the podcast on YouTube now as well. It really was lovely to have so many poets who were new to us today. And if you're listening and were thinking of sending some work, please do. I'm generally quite nice. And you know, I know what it's like to submit for the first time. So... Just put all your work in the body of an email, take a deep breath and press send. You just might get some news that will make you smile. Take care everyone until we meet again next month on the first Monday of October. And more importantly, keep writing. This time I may not have everyone on the Poets directory just yet time might be against me but please check and send me an email if I've missed you out I promise I will get there ciao